Hey everyone, Chris here from Roundtable Collar, having a first look at Wantless Soulless at World's End. This released on the 8th of November on Steam. It's in early access and developed by Drop Rate Studio and published by Twin Sales Interactive. And thank you to Sandbox Strategies for the review key. Wantless is a fast paced tactical RPG set in a dystopian future. Fight off torments inside your patient's minds using a deep skill crafting system and innovative combat mechanics. Utilize your environment, confront horrors made manifest, and walk the fine line of morality in a dying world. So you start your turn with 8 action points, but spending 1 grants it to each enemy. The more you act, the more your opponents will react. Thankfully, eliminating your foes also grants you action points, allowing you potentially devastating turns for you or against you. So I've played games similar to this, and it's always a tricky one. It's going to be a bit of a steep learning curve, we'll see. The last report is six years ago. 99.5% of us were gone. Wantlessness is a state of perfect fulfillment after all. Probably. They're a quiet bunch, the wantless. Most believe it's better than just living your life. Me? I desperately hope it's better than just dying. Ewan's End. And you're in. Boy, is fast asleep up here. Does he look more cheerful on the inside? Nope, not exactly beaming either. Then again, he wouldn't ask to become wantless if he was. Fair point. It's been a while. Are you feeling okay? I think so, but I could use your help remembering. Drag your cursor through the screen. Left mouse button to go there and left again. Use left mouse button with your cursor on the gate to exit this section of the mind. Uh oh. Wretch. Thoughts long abandoned, forgotten. Not out of shame or growth, merely for a lack of relevance. So they're high melee damage and mobile. Still see them as giant insects? Human faced giant insects. You need therapy. Your skill display skills display here, hover the, over them to get more information. You'll use action points to move and cast skills in combat. Skills have a limited range. Your punch has a range of one, so you'll have to move in to cast it. So we've got punch, telekinesis, and dash. All right, so let's go here. So that uses four action points. Okay, that costs four action points. Use the remaining four to strike down the wretch. So we're going to punch and punch. Use space or end turn to end your turn. It's his mind's turn now and you gave the boy a lot to work with. Brace. The more you act, the harder the mind retaliates. As you spend 8 action points, your enemies also get to spend 8 action points. Oh. Okay, take small turns to safely control enemy behavior. One of the wretches is planning to leap behind your next turn. Occupying that position will prevent its move. Okay. End your turn. Aha. Now's a good time to strike back and clear these pesky manifestations. So use punch again. Um, and 
Destroying an enemy restores one action point. Use this to press your advantage. Impulses are unstable entities that explode upon taking damage. They can be used to destroy your enemies. We'll go here. Cast telekinesis on the impulse. So telekinesis pushes the target away up to eight five tiles, dealing minuscule pure damage. So let's go. So let's see what was the effect of that is. Oh, it might hit it. Yeah, we'll hit it. Cool. Bam. Oh, nice. Increase your hit damage by 40% for five turns. This room is now clear. You may proceed to the exit. Alrighty. Oh, damn. Forgotten ego. Oh, geez. The patient's wants are often heavily guarded. Neutralize whatever stands in your way to get to them. I don't know. You can interact with patient memories to preserve them. Preserving your memory grants various buff. This one heals you. Oh, cool. Okay, so we're going to... Must be falling at range one. Preserve the memory. Your turn ends automatically when you run out of action points. Sweet. Oh gosh. When a memory is destroyed, the patient's instability increases, empowering enemies and randomly altering combat layout. Should instability exceed the maximum, the patient will wake up, causing the operation to fail. Hmm, damn. You can lower instability by preserving memories. Push the forgotten ego away before reaching out for other memories. So let's push in this way. And pass dash on the designated position. Then we can move here. Have that. Nice. The dousing impulses detonation caused your enemy to become dormant. Dormant enemies will not act for the duration of the effect or until damaged. Many such persistent effects exist. Use Alt left mouse button with your cursor on an entity to examine them and their effects in detail. Okay. Finish the fight as you see fit. The memory near the forgotten ego restores action points. Hmm. Wait, I can't dash there yet. Ah, oh, we can go here. So that's ah, oh, cool. All right, let's go here. Let's telekinesis that dude over there. Bam. And let's get. That there and that. Noise. Then. So he's got. I'm not sure how to get there. Uh, oh, it's detected. Oh no. If an enemy has leftover action points, it will use stockpile. Stockpile reserves all remaining AP plus one for the enemy's next turn. Okay, crap, what do we do here? Punch him, how much? 38 to 50, uh, could work. Yeah, baby. There are the boys once, ready to lead him into blissful slumber. When out of combat, you can interact with entities from any range. Snuff out your patients once. So I guess that's what that is. <laughs> Patient once absized. Vitals are stable. Remaining stress level zero. Pulling you back now. Correct. Hands position successful. Memory data is valuable. 
Preserved memories will automatically convert to tokens currency when transposition is completed. So we got dusty memory. Memory fossil so ancient it looks frozen as impenetrable as stone. And a fading memory, a blurry, almost abstract piece of memory, more akin to some peculiar form of art than to information. Okay, so we got do have to choose one or just choose four? Oh, are they all chosen? Okay, there we go. So we get aerial one. Strike one. Duo oscillation. Double ank. Oh, cool. Okay, proceed. Transposition successful. You in silence. Godspeed. Welcome back. You did well. He's asleep now. For good. I know transposing gets really intense. I'll get him to a nearby cradle. You go get some rest. Hey, morning. Are you alright? I think so. Happy for the boy. We are, are we expecting patients today? Word of an ambulant transposing lab spreads like a damn pandemic. Some are already waiting. Before you get back to it, you got some synapses from the patient's mind maze. Let's do some neural forging together. It'll help you deal with that horde of wimps. A new day has dawned. So we've got three new items. You've unlocked the neural forge. You can now craft and equip new skills. So open the neural forge and craft your first skill. You can always consult your current objectives here. There she is. Six years, huh? Let me try and jog your memory. As a transposer, the Neural Forge is your most important tool. It combines special data components, synapses, into custom skills you can use during transposition. I think I'll find my way through the machine's interface. Be my guest. Though you were pretty bad at it back then. There are three types of synapses, all required to forge new skills form synapses determines your skills range shape and the number of effects it can apply use left mouse button on aerial one synapse collection to open it the aerial one synapse causes your skill to hit in a small cross shape up to three tiles away it supports up to two effects so Use left mouse button on area one synapse to slot it. Effect synapses determine what your skill does to its targets and its target types, enemies and allies. Open the effects tab. The strike one synapse causes your skill to deal damage to the enemies it hits. Lastly, efficiency synapses determine your skill's action point cost and cooldown. The Duo Oscillation Synapse sets your skill's AP cost to 2 and its cooldown to 1 turn. Slot in the Duo Oscillation Synapse. Once at least one synapse of each type is slotted, the resulting skill is previewed on the right. So this is called a Fear Missile. Cool. Awesome. On top to bottom, it's customizable name and icon, it's AP cost and cooldown, it's effects, it's range and casting preview. Forge the previous skill to proceed. Forged skill must be equipped before it can be used in transposition. Skills tab lets you manage and equip forged skills. Your forge skills display here, your equip skills display here. These are the ones you'll be taking with you in transposition. Finally, here is your discipline. Discipline is the resource you use to equip skills. Each equip skill reserves discipline while it's equipped and frees its reserve discipline when it's unequipped. The skill's discipline cost is determined by its synapses. Stronger synapses lead to higher discipline costs. Skill with a one turn cooldown will have a lower discipline cost than a similar skill with no cooldown, for example. 
Should your reserved discipline exceed your current maximum discipline, you won't be able to transpose. So we got this one. There. See? Pretty easy. Almost like it's my job or something. Oh yeah? Go ahead and forge another one then, Mastermind. Make it a healing skill to compensate for your habit of getting your ass kicked. Alright, so forge and equip a healing skill using the synapses inner one, pure one, and duo cycling. Repurposing used synapse is temporarily disabled. So inner, pure, duo cycling. Inner, pure, duo. Heals 120 to 160. Watch. And we want to go to skills and equip that. Sweet. Okay, so patience. Here are today's patients. None of them is looking to become wantless, just a bunch of routine operations. You'll only have time to transpose one patient, and the others won't come back, so choose wisely. Look at your patient's tier, mind realm, request, and rewards to determine who you want to transpose. Today's patients only differ in reward. Ooh, poison could be good. This one, shuddering. Strike, Blunt, mm -hmm. and then August. Ashland Roads, that's pretty good. Patient requests your objective displays here with its current status. Okay. Relieve the patient of one lesser spot. Is there anything around here? Go straight in, I guess. Lesser strife. Dreams given up, battles that should be have been fought. They've known no closure, no peace, defending causes long forgotten. Long range damage keeps us distance. Most patients' minds ignore your presence if left alone, though there are exceptions. Thread silently to remain concealed. You are concealed. You're currently concealed. Your enemies will ignore your presence and either idle or wander around aimlessly. To remain concealed, you must spend limited AP each turn. Drawing too close to an enemy, attacking or preserving a memory also leads to detection. Approach the nearest lesser strife without going over the AP threshold or letting it detect you. Spending any more AP would lead to detection. Oh, I see. So anything else would... Yep. Bring it on. Okay, so end the turn. You're now in a good position to destroy one of the lesser strifes. Your move. Destroy one of the lesser strifes. So he's got 70 hit points. I wonder if I can push him off the edge. That's 30 to 40. So that should do it. Actually, fear missile. Do that. Most ranged skill casting is limited by an entity's current line of sight, including yours. Tall obstacles break line of sight. When faced with ranged enemies, Ending your turn outside their line of sight can help you approach safely. Hover an enemy to display its line of sight. How can you see? 
Oh, I see. Okay. So the um, the the grade tiles there, gray versus black tiles. Okay, let's enter. Mm. So can I dash? Oh, okay. So dashing is one move. Then I'm gonna go to oh, I've only got three moves left. Hmm. This is a bit scary. That's oh, mellow, okay. Um I thought I killed a lesser spot. Is that a lesser spot? Lesser strife. Okay. Hmm, what do you do here? Do you just take the hits? Bugger it. go to so and it could be there and I'll get him still out of range that was a waste oh man that's just end turn then here we go all right so we can increase your hit damage by 40 percent for five turns or heal up to that thing yeah we've got no we don't need the health so let's get that one. i mean concealed again when a room is cleared you become concealed again let's go Mm. Oh, darn it. So there's no environmental hazards to deal with. So I'm still concealed. Concealed limit. So they have got 45 hit points and that would be 30 to, f okay. Mind your steps, tile effects such as carcass apply to entities that step on them. Hover over them to know what they do. <laughs> so allies inflicts one intoxicate stack and enemies grant one swell attack. All right, well, I think we should end turn unless we want to Hmm, do that actually. Three there. And damn it, and turn. Up. Oh, yeah, this is hurting. Alright, I think we should do one of these. And then give it a Wooshka. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's go here. Rude. Let's gain regen, recovering 10% of your max HP a turn. Let's do it. Let's go here. Here it is, the lesser spot. In its faintest form, hatred is usually associated with specific targets. 
Even at such low intensities, the repressed wish that something or someone would suffer is easier hidden than cleansed. Extreme charged damage keep its, keeps its distance. Oh, far out. Okay, so not only do I have to deal with that, we got one do one lesser strife. And then the big guy. So he's got 90 hit points. And it's going to hurt. Okay. So, big guy. That's next. Maybe I'll just wait. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Why not? Yep. Yeah. Can I dash? No, I can't. So, if I go here. Okay, so it's like a plus sign. So if I want to do a plus sign, I'd have to be... be two away from it. So I'll need to go to there. Oh no. Some enemy skills, such as a Rex's Leap, charge for a number of turns before they're cast. Oh crap. Certain charge skills are targeted on a specific entity. Targeted skills cannot be dodged and are unaffected by line of, oh, unaffected by line of sight. Damn, I was, I was thinking I could just duck, duck behind the wall. Prevent a targeted skill from hitting its target by interrupting the caster with a push or a disable effect. Oh god damn. There's no getting out of it. Hmm. Um. Dash. Close to it. Walk up to him. Smash. No way. I'm just going to have to take it, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ. Connection between your mind and the patients is thinning. Aeris, you okay? Yeah, this guy's mind, Mace, feels a little unfair. Sore loser. You can use a neural ank to re-establish the connection. When your HP reaches zero, you get disconnected. You can use neural anks special consumables to reconnect. On top of a neural ank, reconnecting more than once consumes an increasing amount of awareness. Awareness is a special resource you acquire by destroying enemies. You've exceptionally been granted a lot of awareness. So... Um... Uh, brings you back to life with 25%. Brings you back to life with, so... Oh. And resets your cooldowns. Let's do it. Oh, I'll have to use that. Damn. I can do it right there. Awesome. Reconnecting resets your enemy's action points. Finish them off before they can disconnect you again. I would bloody love to, but bloody hell. Um, so, if I want to hit him, I'm going to have to be right there. I could use that first. Crap. 
that. All undesirables eliminated. Good work, Mastermind. Pulling you back now. Nice. Plus one learning points, plus 30 HP, plus 130 discipline. Proceed. By successfully transposing your patient, you've earned reputation. Increasing your reputation grants multiple perks and is required to travel further. Homestead reputation. Pretty close to all this one. Failing is fine though. Patients know what they're getting into. Transposition's success rate used to be pretty low. You've earned some reputation here in Dumpstead, where you won't be able to travel further until you're at least tolerated. New day has dawned. We've got four new items, learning point, current discipline. Morning, morning, morning. What's up with you? Lots. You've got some new synapses we can improve your skills with. And I might have gotten the mind tree up and running again. Ready to become who you could be? Open your mind tree. Brings you back, huh? Each corner of the mind tree is associated with a different combat style, but feel free to mix them together. Don't worry too much about choosing your path. You can always use a few ponder shards to change your mind later on. Open the neural forge to reforge a skill. Synapses aren't lost when used to compose skills. Click on an, click an existing skill to swap its synapses or disassemble the skill to reuse its components. Um, this way oh no is that good or bad uh what's aerial oh all right ah. what the oh what am i doing oh Poison. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Yes. Okay. Mind tree. So. Um. Birth is there, so I assume it's these two first, unless we can choose these ones. Plus 20 health, can I choose it? Yes. Choose confirm to allocate your learning points or revert to cancel the allocation. Let's go confirm. Cool. And then patience. Um, all right, how do I go back to the hub? So this is the hub, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, I am going to go back to the main menu. All right, my name is Chris from Round Table Co-op. That was my first look at Wantless. And it's out on, on early access already. Wantless sold us at World's End. Developed by Drop Rate Studio, published by Twin Sales Interactive. And thank you again to Sandbox Strategies for the review key. You'll see my review up on roundtablecoop.com once I've got more time in the game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.